You've heard me say before, it ain't the paintbrush, it's the painter. No matter what kind of camera gear you have, it boils down to how you use it. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make your images literally sing. Yeah, let's do it. The first setup I usually shoot is a master shot. That means a wide shot or establishing shot of the entire location and the entire band members running the song from beginning to end. Three, two, one, action. We run the song using my simple MP3 player studio monitor system as a playback. After I shoot the master shot, I push in and shoot singles of each band member doing their thing. I shoot mid shots and close ups of the leader, then the lead guitarist, then the bass player, and let's not forget the drummer. Next, I go fragment the scene further by shooting extreme close ups, like the guitar string and neck, the drums and cymbals and snares. The other shots I make sure to get is additional non performance B roll. I like the entrance of the bar location here, so I decide to shoot the band members entering as well as exiting the place. If your camera is this paintbrush, then the lights are your paints. There are generally two ways to view lighting. One is naturalistically, which means lighting the set in the most organic, natural way possible. The other is to light pictorially, which means to go for maximum drama through expressionistic lighting. In Many Men, I took available locations and really went the distance stylistically, going for pictorial lighting. We had a tiny room with a white wall. What did I do? I placed a black foil over the light, punched some holes through it, and get a colored gel over it. Then I simultaneously shook and zoomed the camera with the tempo of the song. In this vignette, I taped a long fluorescent light to my light stand and had the performer, Dushanti, sing and dance next to it. I even blew on the camera lens to achieve a diffuse fog filter look here. Let's not forget the power of the silhouette if you want to give the viewer a sense of awe and mystique. Backlight the performer. Kevin Soap, Brighter Day music video, scene one, take two, marker. In a brighter day, I shot in available locations, going for a very real look, where the light sources are obvious. This is the naturalistic approach to lighting. During the shooting of this video, I was always on the lookout for terrific backdrops. I'm keeping, the, keeping at a 45 degree angle to the truck so the background of the truck is not flat to the lens. Looks good. And move the action to where the sunlight hit both the performer Kevin and the location in a flattering manner. So here, we're gonna do a tracking shot, you guys. And this is gonna all be in the background. In my music video, Straight Out of Canton, by the group Notorious MSG, I mix naturalistic with pictorialistic lighting. Outside on the streets of Chinatown, I use available light. Here's a low budget way to create a police car effect. I had gone to Radio Shack and bought a police light used for decoration. I taped it to the dashboard of a mid-sized car and hit the guys with the high beams. Simple, cheap, and very dramatic. In order to match the crazy, dizzying music of Notorious MSG, I decided to swing an exposed light bulb in front of the performers, Hong Kong Fever and Down Low Main while they belted out their rap in a holding cell. This insanely hyper-real mosh pit scene was shot at my favorite Chinese restaurant, After Hours, using a strobe light I also picked up at Radio Shack. Most of us have only one camera with a lens it came with. It's a zoom lens, and that's all. But don't let that stop you from being a virtuoso behind the camera. That zoom lens packs a lot of punch. Zoom out completely, and this is called wide angle. In this position, you have a deep focus from foreground to middle ground to background. In this position, you can accentuate a space, bring out the glory of the backdrop or architecture. A wide angle focal length is often used in rap music videos. MSG in the hall, and we're feeling really hot. In Straight Out of Canton, check out how bombastic the performances are when I have the zoom lens all the way wide. Hip hop videos often use these wide angle lenses coupled with a low angle position. It amps up the song and gives the performer a mythic larger than life quality. Now zoom in completely, all the way in. That's telephoto. At this focal length, you can create a profound sense of depth in the shot. By placing the objects in the foreground and by moving the performer as far away from the wall, you can crush the focus, 
so that only the performer's face is what you see. This is one surefire way to get that film look we all want. You don't need expensive cameras or lens packages or fancy light kits. You can do this. Shooting on a tripod, also known as lockdown shots, is something we also take for granted. An action. A steady, solidly anchored camera can make a strong emotional impression. At the polar opposite is handheld camera. And this often connotes documentary realism. But again, if used wisely, it can create sparks in the video. I particularly like to combine Dutch angles with long lens telephoto with switch pans and tilts while shooting handheld. Married with the right song, it's an ideal equation. In the end, the song will dictate the camera style you choose. But what I ask you to do is to transcend convention. Dare to be unique. Strive for a visual signature you can call your own. The frame you're working in will always remain the same, but how you compose, light, and lens the world within is your playground, so play hard. Cool, we're wrapped.